Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I want to share what I learned this weekend at the Impressions Expo in Atlantic City. So my main goal for this trade show, of course, embroidery. One of our long-term goals, I wanna open up a shop where I have start out with a six head where Monday through Friday, we're doing productions for customers. And then on the weekends, we open up the shop for embroidery education and hands-on training. Like that's my ultimate goal in this embroidery journey that I'm in, that would be my ultimate goal. So here at the trade show, my focus was researching the six head machines. So of course, looking at all the individual machines and also focusing on the six heads. So at 10 a.m., the doors open, right? Everybody's lined up, going in. And as soon as the doors open, all right, the first booth that's right in front of you, we got the Tajimas. We have the TMEZ here. You have the TMBRs there. We have the, the smaller, the size here. I got a chance to actually stand in front of it and just listen to the needles, right? Like you're listening to the embroidery. And one thing about these trade shows, they're cranking these speeds all the way high. And I'm just listening to these needles like, it's like Metallica music, right? Just like a drummer just going and nonstop going and you can just hear the smoothness, how they run. It's one thing going through a website and kind of checking out features and specs and checking all that information. But it's another thing standing in front of a machine and just seeing it with your eyes and kind of getting that feel, that energy of an embroidered machine, all right? And the one machine that just kind of stands out and it's just crazy to kind of see it in person is the TMEZ. And the TMEZ, what makes it so special and it's so crazy is that they actually don't have any tension knobs. So everything is digitally set. You have the presser foot is digitally set and the two tension knobs, they're not even there. They're all automatic. So instead of having knobs there, you actually have magnets because I've seen it online and it just never made sense to me. But literally zooming in and looking at the actual magnets that make it happen, it all makes sense now. Now I kind of get an idea. All right, now I see how this happens. And they also had the six head TMEZ right there, which to me was even more crazier. So then we move on over to the next big dog and you already know, Baradin, same thing, quality. What I like to do is stand in front of a machine and just listen and, and kind of get that energy from the machine. It's one thing when you're scrolling through the website or seeing it through YouTube and you kind of see the machine being ran. It's another thing to see it actually face to face. And the good thing about the machines is you see them right next to each other and little small specs that you read online, right? You read like the size, it's X amount smaller or bigger. When you're standing in front of it, you actually see, you crank that speed up and it's just like music coming in. And then the next machine that I saw, the Happy Japan machines. And I know a lot of embroiderers that love, love Happy. So of course, you know I had to go check them out, right? And Happy, they brought their uh, 15 needle machine. Everything looks solid. It's like you could see, you could just look at a machine and see if it's solid, right? The next machine I went to go see is the Melcos. I know a lot of our subscribers, they have Melcos and they run Melcos. And I wanted to see how their system works because I know they're a little different than other machines. Their control panel is ran through a computer. So I actually got to see it. There is no better way to get information than to actually have somebody from that company, right? Breaking everything down. So I took about 500 pictures of a lot of cool stuff that I saw at the show. And let me just talk about some of the cool stuff that I saw. I'm not gonna go through everything or else this would easily be a three hour video. This company is called Game. They specialize in workwear and also first responder type jackets. And this is the real deal. This is like heavy, heavy, heavy material. All right, they got from jackets to sweaters to vests. And they have a lot of gear for paramedics, firemen, a lot of cool stuff. So if that's kind of like your genre there, definitely should hit them up. They're in New York. And not only do they do this type of stuff, but they do Letterman jackets too, all right? So this is real deal stuff. I know a lot of times, from the major vendors, you'll see varsity jackets, 
but they'll be real thin, real light. Okay, this is real deal. This is heavy, heavy, heavy material. You can see the detail and the craftsmanship of this company. So definitely if this is your area of specialty, you definitely want to check this company out here. They can be found at gamesportswear.com. Of course, you already know I had to go visit the Flex Fit. This is my go-to for hats. They did have a pretty cool setup where they had all the materials broken down into different pieces. And you could kind of see how everything is constructed and broken down. So definitely very useful, especially if you're not very familiar with the Flex Fit. This one here, this is the Flex Fit 110, which is definitely one of my favorite hats. All right, this company here, this is a real good one to have bookmarked on your computer, Wolfmark Ties. And what really stood out were the graduation sashes. I know there is a big genre, especially come graduation time, where people are looking for places to get sashes and here you go so you can see they have different colors different finishes binding so definitely a resource to have it's just you know is what this is is more tools in your toolbox that's what it is especially if you save it as a resource you never know when you might do a project like this all right this one here five b's this is a good one to check out this is a company you can see here 400 plus embroidery heads they're doing big big jobs so if this is something you kind of want to look into all right definitely a company to check out and they are located in ohio these are just resources because you never know you might have this project that's too big to do it in-house and you might have to take it out to a company that specializes in big big type of work of course you got your gildan always a popular brand to go with and you could see there you could see the sweaters in the background and if you're familiar with with gildan they had all their popular products so always good just to see it real straightforward you know they are the classics of the classics so good to see them here and one of the main booths that i wanted to check out also was the laser and the epilogue i finally got to see one of the epilogues up front and they're a straight beast they are super massive they look very strong they look real legit and definitely definitely putting this on my to buy list because you already know if it can do stuff like this it can easily cut twill and you know very thin type of fabric and of course i had to stop by hoop tech all right, you already know I'm all about the Gen 2s. And this one here is the back. This is the large, the size large on the back. And of course, you always see that made in USA. They had all their clamps out. You can kind of see all the different sizes that they have. And of course, they have for the bags. These are all specialty items, even if you're trying to get into shoes, right? You just, sometimes you never know what you find yourself trying to hoop. I'm very familiar with the Gen 2, but they also have these other items just in case you find yourself with some awkward type projects and then we got for your name tags it just makes the process a whole lot easier when i go get name tags for my uniform this is the one that they use right here all right look at that it, it just has a good grip you can see the grip that it has here you know this 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 shoe is not going anywhere all right this company here i do want to highlight this is called continental headwear and more and what they and what this company does they actually create hats so if you have an idea of a hat if you want to construct your own hat you can see here it has hot sauce on the side of the hat this is super thinking outside the box this is you know one of a kind type stuff so this is stuff that I didn't even know exists. you can customize and create a hat with all sorts of crazy ideas so this hat here look at this it's like it's made out of cork right look at this it's cork right it's to promote a wine then we have this one right it's like the basketball for the brim even though i don't find myself doing anything crazy like this you never know you never know what you're going to get yourself into you never know what type of projects you're going to find yourself with and just to have resources that's the that's the key word here is finding resources because you never know where you're going to find yourself at right look at this one advanced auto parts you're not gonna buy any blanks like this right this is all stuff that you create by working with a company like this and by meeting with this company they'll direct you and kind of show you all the cool stuff that's possible for making hats look at this one right has like different type of texture here look at that that looks real cool right there they just have a bunch a bunch of different examples of just thinking outside the box 
of course I had to stop by lane 7 a lot a lot of hype right now on lane 7 and I wanted to see what the hype is the good thing here I got a feel for all their sweaters I like the way they're oversized and their weight and the, the just the way they feel and this sweater here this is the one that really caught my attention this is the zipper and this is the information on the sweater and this is the one that I'm going to research. I'm going to buy some of these, check them out, test them out. And we'll probably make a video sometime in the future. I really like this one. You can see it here. Real, real good feel. All right, this booth here, this is called Mid-South. And they do digitizing, vectorizing, and patches. Once again, I've never used this company. Okay, they're, they're here. I'm putting out the information so you can kind of see what's out there and they specialize in patches so if you want to outsource patches or you want to work on certain type of stuff definitely check them out and i have their information right here so if you want to check them out so overall i had a blast at this trade show i met a lot of cool people got a ton of ideas and i am super pumped up to implement a lot of these projects that are on the mix and even though i didn't talk about all the companies that i met i did meet a lot of awesome people and maybe i'll make a part two on this video i will be at next year's long beach and the long beach one that's probably like three times bigger than this one so i can just imagine the next one but definitely if you have any questions any comments anything you want me to elaborate on please leave it in the comments and i'll be sure to get back at you all right see you on the next one peace out